Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. Good. Just stop on back when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. Bring his hat as proof of the kill. Hi. Thanks again for helping us with that data. I mean, the feed only lasted about 30 seconds, and it's not that useful, but... Well, we tried. We were connected for half a minute, and received enough data to fill five holodisks. It looked like nonsense at first, but we decoded it. It was all biometric data, life signs from Mr. House. The technology he's using is so advanced that it samples data hundreds of times per second. It's fascinating but depressing. Whatever technology he has can't possibly be practical for the people out here. After two tries, I think I've learned enough. I'm sure there's something more promising I could be helping the other followers with. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't tell you about the first time. I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. True. All right. The first try was a little less professional. Someone important on the Strip had access to some of House's technology. Specifically, a Securitron. And more specifically, the someone was Benny. I know, I know, he shot you in the head and everything. But this was a while ago. I knew he was sleazy, but I didn't realize he was so cold-blooded. Ugh, so gross. It was bad enough that I didn't get any data out of the Securitron. This is why I didn't want to talk about it. It only happened once. I chalk it up to sleep deprivation and one atomic cocktail too many. That's sweet of you to say, even if it isn't true. Welcome back, friend. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the Apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. The big man around here is the King. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally. And some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. So the Garrus sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Well that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrus thinking I'm dead. 
Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. Would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Well, well. You do? That. All right. Oh, that makes me so happy. You are too much. Hey, stranger. Where you been, huh? I missed you. You're kicking me into gear, huh? Well, I think I'll drive my chassis over to your pad. Wait for me down there and don't forget the oil. Inside the Lucky 38? At this rate, one Securitron is going to be enough to defend the whole strip. Go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Help you? It's good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? 
Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that will be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. You're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the booze. Hey, chum. Well, hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here, 
But honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Keep moving. Chum, what? With Jacob Hoff sobered up, there are new drinks on the menu and sales are strong. I hear you've been helping out around town. Much appreciated, friend. Yes! Where's his hat? This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Yep. What can I get you, friend? Since you're new, I'll lay out the rules for you. The prostitutes here aren't slaves. They decide who they service. You best make a good first impression if you want what they have to offer. Rooms are just a few caps a night. Your choice of company is extra, Assuming anyone's taken a liking to you. Our guys put the monorail back to work. Enjoy the show. And don't give us a reason to shoot you, okay? I'd remember if I had seen you here before. I'm sure of it. What do you want? The clamor of our bloodthirsty crowds reaches every corner of the wasteland. But I'll pretend that your ignorance doesn't offend me, stranger. This is the Thorn. Here's where the strong make a name for themselves. And the weak are fed to the jaws of hell. You can bet on the contenders. Or, if you have what it takes, be one of the contenders. Be warned. The Thorn demands respect. Break the rules, or offend me in any way, and I'll gut you open for all to see.
What's on your mind? The Thorn is my master, not the other way around. I live to make our kin able to transcend their limitations. Our land is harsh and hostile. Our lives are cheap and fragile. Death is our assured fate, striking when least we expect it. The Thorn awakens us to the truth. Here we escape from our bonds and choose the moment of death against the will of destiny. Bold, as it pleases the Thorn and me. But it does take more than that to earn my admiration. You speak like a hunter, yet only actions prove one's worth. The Thorn requires a tribute of blood, and so do I. Think you have what it takes? Hmm. All right. Prove your worth, and I'll reward your service. The Thorn needs newborn specimens that will one day grow to honor us with their blood. Bring me a dozen giant mantises eggs. If you accomplish this, I might gift you with greater tasks in the future. You'll find egg-carrying mantises in the wasteland. But a wise hunter would search at a mantis's breeding ground, like the nearby ruins of Vault 22. You've got yourself a deal. So long, stranger. I'm glad mean son of a bitch is on our side. Prim as a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. my bone with shipping. I have Bogo. Thieves are rope. Goodbye. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something. But I haven't changed the signs. Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the casa went full service. Catch you later then. I keep hearing some about some courier making a fuss city. over the at the NCR let him go. Must have delivered more than just mail. They say those robots on the strip are running around with different faces or something. Same robots on the strip, I seen one or two of them roll past town time to time. Well, the face on them looked meaner.
Don't mind trailblazing as long as we got the ammo. And whiskey. Let's kick this in gear. Safe for civilians. You don't want to get caught by the great cons. Tough, independent, and as ruthless as they come. They're holed up in Red Rock Canyon, and it's this station's job to keep an eye on them. Keeping watch on the great cons, mostly. We called it in. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. You're here for the money. I told the Emeritus I was good for it. I just need more time. I talked to the cashier at Gamora into forwarding me some chips. I was convinced I was due for a hot streak. It uh, didn't go so well. The Emeritus were nice and said they'd give me some time to pay them back. They also said if they had to talk to me about my debt again, they wouldn't be nice the next time. I don't want to talk about it. We were on patrol near the dam when a Legion raiding party jumped us. Didn't even have time to radio it in. I was hit in the head with a machete and knocked out. Didn't kill me, though some nights I wish it had. When I woke up, my nerve was gone. The rest of my squad was crucified, butchered, mutilated. I don't know how they missed me. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they knew they'd broken me. I gambled and drank a lot after that. Got into trouble. But the Rangers gave me a second chance instead of kicking me out. So here I am. Maybe. But thanks for saying it anyway. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I can do that. Um, thanks. Watch out for great cons. First... Three cons in Camp Forlorn Hope. Get some rangers in there too, and it'll be a damned impregnable fortress. Hey.
welcome, sir or madam. Sir or A little busy at the moment. We still need a contractor on our Vault 22 project. Interested? Wonderful. Straight to it then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom, vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat, ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water, and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Precisely. Science has proven that truth a thousand times over, but how many wasteland savages believe it? Present company accepted, of course. The bounty I describe to you is no idle fantasy. It exists in primitive form only a few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and unlock its secret. For that, the OSI needs you. Isn't it? One directs one's efforts, or the efforts of others, toward a goal, and progress is made. It's a matter of incentives, nothing more. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. 
yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy. You might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like a reasonably competent person. Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... Did he give you a job? I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, wait. I don't mean to see any harm come to Dr. Hildern. Unless by talk, you just mean talk. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. Isn't right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Keeley hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keeley because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. The director? He's... very well-spoken, and... knowledgeable. He's not what you'd call... warm. Unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley? He crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm gonna warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside. Even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Feels better knowing that Esteban's not out there in the waste. Howdy. Looking for Chow? 
Howdy. Looking for Charlie? So you're back. All right. I need you to pass something off to a merchant. The guy's name is Price. The exchange goes down at Miguel's pawn shop in Westside. This next bid is very important. He's paranoid, maybe a little schizo. You have to identify yourself with a passcode or he'll shoot you right there. Just tell him you're looking for some betting advice. Then he'll say the surest move is to bet on the house. Yeah, it means you don't get shot. Be sure you do. If you get this last job done, full access to my stash. At a discount even, just because I like you. Get moving, watch out for raiders, and do not lose that package. Good luck. So you're back. Another saddest. Holding my breath. Hey. What do you want? We work together. I'm handling his deliveries for the moment while he handles a business opportunity that came up. What? Look, do you have something to drop off or not? What? How the hell did you figure that out? Hell, thought I'd done a better job than that. Well, if that's how it is, you can call me Ranger Keller. Price is in deep with the NCR for supplying drug ingredients to the local gangs. He's currently being held for questioning. What is... All right. If you hear anything, report it to myself or Lieutenant Boyd immediately. We need to track down his source. If you're down on your luck and need some caps, I'd buy just about anything. My grandfather opened up this shop. Took over from him when the fiends killed him. What do you want? Yeah. Whatever you say, lady.
Some cons got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City, but the NCR let them go. That's unusual. right now. Let's start this dance. 